Cash done now. Wait in the car. What a minute. Hey, look, uh, Amber's with David. Why don't you try and get some rest? Recharge your batteries. I've just ended my marriage, Jay. Trust me, sleep is not an option. About time you saw him for who he really is. He was so angry last night. There is no way he's going to let this go. Because he knows what he's lost. You stood by him when most people would have walked away. He doesn't deserve you. That's how you come in here. Eh? We need a word. No, we don't. Because guess what? I've not heard from Rebecca, and long may it continue. Don't you care where she is? Oddly enough, no, I don't. How can you even say that? She's carrying your baby. Yeah, and I didn't ask for it. Keeping that baby is Rebecca's choice, not mine. I don't want anything to do with it. If you're after David, he's at the cash and carry. Ah. Oh. So he's left you in charge. Must be desperate. From what I hear, your stint in the cafe wasn't exactly a roaring success. Yes, well, the leisurely pace suits me better here. But I will be back slaving over a hot panini press later, so I can't have been that bad. You've been uh, rather quiet. Everything OK? What, like Josh being back at school? Yeah, brilliant. I just hope I don't make a complete fool of myself, that's all. Yeah. Right, well, I'll, uh, I'll see you later, yeah? But don't start without me. Vegetable-based conversation, by any chance? What? Oh, this? No, no, allotment society. Am I really that predictable? Let's just say you've got a very specific field of interest. Not easy to accommodate on a cruise, I can tell you. Cruise? I thought we'd been through all that. And you poo-pooed it, I know, but... A, I found these wristbands that stop you getting seasick, and B, this one's got a lecture on how to cultivate the perfect Mediterranean pepper. So that should keep you occupied while I soak up the sun. What do you think? Well, they've been crammed like sardines in a can. So-called entertainment and overpriced booze forced on you every chance they get. It doesn't say anything like that on the website. Relax and unwind in five-star luxury. <laughs> gastroenteritis and cockroach infestation, more like... I've been there. I've suffered in a Force 9 gale. No wristbands can stop that, I can tell you. Yes, well, I'm not spending my 70th in some country pub. I want to do something I'll remember. And we will. Maybe I'm not as predictable as you think. Who knows? I might even stretch to a hotel room this time. Right. Allotment society, here I come. Hotel room, my backside. I was going to call you. Let you know the coast was close. It was massively awkward with him here last night. He said he's going to come back, pick up his stuff in a bit. I'm sorry. I had to go. I couldn't face him after. Yeah, I know. He told us you slept with someone else. Talk about bombshell. Hey, not that I blame you. Right, Rakesh just put you through hell and back, so don't think I don't understand. I'm not proud of what I did. Maybe it was just your way of, you know, Forcing the issue. Either that or the guy in question was uh, too hot to resist. That's not helping. I'm sorry, I was not fishing. Actually, I was. I was fishing a little oh, bit. Babe, I'm pretty sure this is the last thing Priya needs. Uh, don't you need to be back at the farm? Leave us to chat. I'm good for now. I'll put the kettle on, shall I? Yeah, I suppose it's too early for wine. I just came to get my things. I don't want to fight. Then don't. Just tell me who you slept with. I know I hurt you, and I am sorry. That's not good enough. I need answers. Don't you get it? Whatever she did, you drove her to it, right? This, it's on you. It's okay, Layla. I can deal with this. 
I need to talk to Rakesh on his own. That fridge is insane. I've never seen so much posh grub. Do you want me to fix you something while I'm at it? Uh, no, thank you. I'm gonna have lunch out today. Yeah? Could always join you if you like. Somewhere nice and intimate. As tempting as you think that might sound, I have an estate to run. Besides, haven't you got other things you're meant to be doing? Your family must be wondering where you are. What family? They're all either banged up or in rehab. Last I heard, council had repossessed their house. Oh, I see. Well, I can take an in. If you want me to leave, all you have to do is just say. No, I'm... I'm sure Dad won't mind you staying here a few more days. <laughs> See, I'm getting to you already, huh? <laughs> Won't be far anyway if you change your mind. Your mum is so fit. Could you not? How weird would it be if we got it on? I'd be like your stepdad. No, that's never gonna happen, so... You worry about Belle, leave your mum to me. <laughs> Lucky get. Bet you and Belle are right all the time. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it's not like that, so. Like what? Don't tell me you've not slept with a mate. What are you waiting for? She's a right, babe. Yeah, and that makes it so much worse. So, if you could do me a favour and don't go there. I only went to the police for you so that we might stand a chance. Of what? Being together? Me visiting you in prison? What kind of life is that for either of us? So you just thought you'd put me out of my misery? We talk about perfect timing. I've got my plea hearing tomorrow. What's the point if I've got nothing left to hold on to? I didn't do it on purpose. It just happened. So you can keep your hands off each other? Is that how little I mean to you? Or how much you care about him? The truth is, Rakesh, we have been broken a long time. I just didn't see it. It's David, isn't it? What? No, why would you even think that? I've seen the way you look at each other. There's something there between you two and you know it. And if you won't tell me, I'll just have to have it out Rakesh, with him. stop it, please! You are not thinking straight! It is not David. Then who? And why are you protecting him? I am not protecting anyone! I had been drinking, or I, I got talking to some guy at a bar. Yeah, you just threw it away for some random. Why would you do that? Because it wasn't you. And you know what? It felt good. I can just see you and Diane getting down to a bit of salsa. It's very moody. Oh, don't you think we should start with something a bit less challenging, like ballroom? Or... I thought you wanted to impress. I do, but it's just I've got two left feet. My hips keep seizing up. Oh. Maybe this was a bad idea after all. Don't be daft. Relax. And you seem footloose. Foot what? Oh, never mind. Listen to the music. Feel it pulsing through your being. I think even the neighbours can at this volume. Maybe you should turn it down a bit. And maybe you should lose your inhibitions and let yourself go. <laughs> See? That's it! Uh, now, come on! Let's salsa! <laughs> I've stood by you. I've alienated my friends for you. Do you have any idea the kind of pressure I was under? Your whole family looking down their noses at me, expecting me to fail? Oh, and you delivered big time. And now you think you can just walk away? The truth is... I don't love you anymore. Uh, the truth is... You're a spoilt little princess who's had everything handed to you on a plate. Well, guess what? It doesn't work like that. Why? Because your ego says so. Is it any wonder I don't love you when you're like this? You've changed, and you know what? I hate who you've become. I was even prepared to steal from the business, from my own family, for you. That's the power you had over me, and you knew it, and you just kept using me. This is over, Rakesh. And there is no going back. Someone's on a promise. Yeah, well, I've got some making up to do after yesterday, don't I? Sorry, you know me. I always pop up at the wrong time. You were on a promise, though, weren't you? Something like that. Look, if you're wanting to sneak Belle back, I can always make myself disappear. 
Give you a chance to make up for a bit of lost time. You've got to be joking. There's not a chance I will bring her back here. So what's the plan? Posh hotel, silky sheets. In before your curfew. It's not like you can't afford it, is it? You know not everything's about sex. I actually like Belle and I don't want to mess it up, so... Seriously, mate, what is wrong with you? She's well up for it. Yeah. And her last boyfriend was married and twice her age, so... And you worried you won't match up? There's only one way to find out. What if I'm no good? Huh? What then? You've never done it, have you? No. OK? So go on. Laugh all you like. <laughs> Mate, we've all been there. The more you think about it, the worse it will be. I just don't want to let her down. Then don't. Take the pressure off. What do you mean? Leave it with me, you'll see. I just wish that Robert had see sense. Oh, we all do. Like it or not, we're going to have to let him come to his own decisions. Well, I'd say you've got hidden talents, Mr Potts. It's just a case of letting them loose. Oh, don't you worry. I intend to. Same time tomorrow. Looking forward to it already. <laughs> uh, uh, thanks for fixing that leaky tap, Doug. What tap? Could have been canoeing down Main Street. <laughs> no problem. Just a perforated washer. Happens all the time. <laughs> Is it me or was that weird? Who knows? Maybe they're having a torrid affair behind me back. Seriously? No. Cos that'd be interesting. What's up with Jacob? Should be here by now. Football practice. So stop worrying. <laughs> and what if that oik Josh has been out to his old tricks? What then? How they can even consider letting him go back to school is beyond me. Seriously, he's back. Don't think they have much choice. They've not charged him with anything. Yeah. Then it's up to us to do something about it. Starting by pressing charges for the robbery. That little swine has to be made to realise he cannot get away with what he did. Yeah, yeah, and we will do that, all right? Mood you are in, you'll just make things worse. <laughs> yeah, Davy's right. I should call him. Go back to my original statement. Yeah, well, sooner rather than later, one would hope. Why is it that everywhere I go, there's always someone giving me evils? It's just more them. It's me and you. Unless your friends decide to turn up again. Sorry. If I knew he was... No, I get it. I get it. You're mates. And there'll be other times, all right? Well, if that's what you want. Look, Mum and Dad are out all day tomorrow, so why don't I show you just how much I want to be with you? Let's hope Rakesh gets the message and leaves us alone. And stop feeling bad, cos this is the first day of the rest of your life. I hope so, I really do. Oh. And who knows, when the dust has settled, maybe you'll rekindle your hot passion with the mystery man. Layla, I told you it wasn't like that, all right? It was just a one-off. And believe me, I feel terrible about it. Why well, I wasn't married, was he? No, but I'm meant to be, though. Which is why you must have been special, cos this is you that we're talking about. You don't do one-night stands. Yeah, I thought not. There must have been a connection, then. I don't know, I'm thinking maybe he could be the one. He's definitely not, OK? So let's just stop talking about it. Well, no wonder Rebecca moved away when you two are like this. Oh, let's not, OK? 
told you to drop this. Rebecca can look after herself. But she's just as well. God knows what her life would be like if you were in it. Well, guess what? This isn't about you, either of you. And I don't care how independent Rebecca is, she's going to need her friends and a family. And when she does, me and Dad will be right there. But trust me, you do not figure in that. Well, that suits me. There you go. See? So when you stop sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong, I'll have a gin and tonic, please. That's it. Say cheese. I want to make sure I get your good side. Nicola, I... Oh, don't tell me. It's not what it seems. You're just here for the free Wi-Fi. So go on, then, as you're so clever. What am I doing? Well, pass forms anything to go on. You're trying to hack into the accounts. But just so you know, Jay changed all the access codes after the last time you ripped them off. Yeah. Careless to leave the passwords lying around. I mean, anyone could find them. Hmm. Now what? Run away like the coward you are? I beats going to prison. There's enough here for me to find Kieran, make a new life. Except here I am, again. A little thorn in your side. You now all I have to do is call the police and you're in even deeper. Then what's stopping you? I don't know. Maybe I'm enjoying watching you squirm. Or maybe you're waiting for me to cut you in on a deal. It's crossed your mind, hasn't it? I take the blame, you get a pile of cash, and no one ever needs to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I understand. You made it perfectly clear. Guess I've only got myself to blame. Thanks for nothing. Did they just say what I think they did? Yeah. I've already changed my statement once, which, as far as they're concerned, makes me unreliable. Right. Well, you being unreliable is pretty much the only thing they've got right. Sorry. It's just... Well, it's my dad. He needs to think something's being done. What am I going to tell him? I had football training, all right? And before you ask, I stayed out of Josh's way all day. But you shouldn't have to. Now, if he says anything or does what? anything... I'm... You'll sort it? Yeah, because that's really worked so far, hasn't it? <laughs> Did you see that? He's obviously worried sick. Will you speak to the police? Yeah. And? The prosecute? It's not that simple. Well, of course it is. There's evidence. You saw him. It's, it's, it's cut and dried. Except they can't take my word for it. I've already changed my statement once. Which makes him unreliable. Guessing he won't stand up in court. Well, there's still me. I, I was there. Yeah. Yeah, you were, but you didn't see his face. I'm sorry, Dad. I don't know what else we can do. I'm gonna have to let it go. You can't lose. I take all the risk, transfer the money to my account, draw it out in cash. And hand it over just like that? No one will never know you've got it. Call it insurance. All I have to do is trust you, right? This isn't about the money. It's about making them pay for what they've done to me. Made you commit fraud, did they? Put the match in your hand and told you to set that fire? I'm not saying what I did was right. But they made sure I paid for it. Humiliated me. Used it to undermine me every chance they had. Listen to you. Trying to blame everyone but yourself. You know, if you ask me, Priya's better off without you. She's not the only one. You got my take, then? Oh, yeah. Why? We both know they hate having you around. Given half the chance, they'll chew you up and spit you out just like they did to me. Hmm, maybe you're right. But I'll take that risk. If it means watching you get what you deserve. Don't worry. I'll make sure of it. Thanks for your help. You can go now. But... No, trust me. You don't want to be here. This is between me and Rakesh now. That was quick. Blew you out, did she? Or was it in danger again? getting up close and personal? Great, because that's helping. Are you wearing my clothes? Just as well. I've booked you an appointment. I might have to shave. Wait, uh, what kind of appointment? One well, that'll put a smile back on your face. Check her out. Is she a babe or what? Not as much as I thought, either. And you can pay cash. 
You've hired a prostitute. How? Yeah. Wonderful world of the web. It's all there, it's just knowing where to look. Just as well I do. Why would you do that? Because you need to get this virginity thing nailed once and for all. There is no way I'm paying for it. Why not? Take the emotion out of it, no strings, job done. Well, because it'd be cheating on Belle for a start. A means to an end, a one-off. She doesn't ever have to know. You can't keep hiding from this much longer. Yeah, I know, OK? And look at it like this. An hour with her means Belle won't be disappointed. That's all it takes. <laughs> there we are. Just the two of us. No witnesses. What, you think I won't fight back? Maybe. But then I've caught you in my factory, trying to steal from me. You know, it doesn't look good. Might even add a couple of years to your sentence. <laughs> Although you'd know more about that than me, wouldn't you? You're the lawyer. So you call the police, what then? You think I'll really go quietly? I won't tell them everything. And you think they'll believe you? Well, by the time I've finished, I'll have implicated Priya and everything. I've got no reason to protect her now, have I? So why don't you stop playing the big I am and face facts? I can make life very difficult for you. Well, unless what? I'll let you go. Fine. Go then. Oh, no. No. It's not going to be that easy. If I'm going anywhere, it's going to cost you. <laughs> Are you for real? You don't think we've wasted enough on you already? It's either that or I take Priya down with me. Your choice. The football's kicking off in just a few minutes on ITV, live from Paris as England take on France. And if you missed the premiere of ITV's epic new conspiracy thriller Fearless last night, catch it now on the ITV Hub.